Hey dudes, that is Sunglasses here, and welcome to my match day vlog of Arsenal v Norwich. Uh, back at the Emirates again, a month just about after the last game against Doncaster. Hopefully the game isn't as boring as that, and this vlog won't be as boring as last time. It's going to be a lot shorter, because I've shown a lot of the stuff that I wanted to record. So it'll basically just be today, atmosphere, the actual game itself, goal reactions, uh, team reactions. So the vid will hopefully be about 10 minutes long. Uh, predictions for today, I think Wenger will play a team full of more youth players again. I think Holding's probably going to play. I think Elneny's going to play. I'd probably say Giroud's going to play because he didn't play the other day. I'd say Jack would play as well. Because there's a couple of days until the next game, so if he's playing in the Premier League, he'll have a bit of time to recover. Uh, although he has been playing in a lot of games, but you see what he did. 20 minutes assist on Wednesday, not Wednesday, Sunday. So hopefully he can uh, help again, and if he scores a goal, well that will just be brilliant. Uh, as I was saying, I think that we'll probably win, but Norwich are in good spirits. They uh, beat Ipswich 1-0 at Portman Road I think it is so I reckon they'll be in good spirits but again I'd probably say that they would have had to drop a few players because no matter what league you're playing in if you have to play again two days later especially when you're a lower league team as well against a big team like Arsenal even if we're putting out our smaller squad yeah our, our B squad yeah I think it's still it's going to be hard for both of us uh, mainly for them because yeah they put out their best squad practically I still think we'll beat them uh, two nil maybe, so without further ado, let's go. And uh, I always try and do this thing with the camera boom thing. So. <laughs> oh my god, I'm back again. Decent lineup. Um, he looked there. 
Tracy DeBucci, Wilshire Drew, Walcott Holding, Awobi, Maitland Miles, uh, Niles, Cochrane, El Nenny and Nelson. So that's actually a pretty good lineup. Kind of the Europa League one, but it's alright. Um, hopefully we should beat them. See you later. There you go. Magic Man there. See if he can work his magic. Missed the first five minutes. Um, overall, uh, terrible defending for the goal. Um, but we've definitely played better. It's our problem. No cutting edge. And there's our defensive mistakes. They just pick out those mistakes other teams. Uh, free kick right here though, so.
that's all. I'll tell you what I think. guys it's the next day now and I'm happy with the result I'm glad we've gone through uh, let's talk, go over a few of the other results as well Bristol City smashed Crystal Palace 4-1 I think it was at their home Man City drew basically with Wolves but then they won on penalties so it was the lower league sides that bought it on penalties Man City as well they had a they had a proper squad out there as well that I saw they had Aguero on they had Sane on I know Torre is mainly on the bench now but Yaya Torre was on and they couldn't even beat Wolves to be fair Wolves are having a good time uh, and they're doing well but it's nothing to do with the goalkeeping either because Bravo was in goal but it was nil nil wasn't it and he saved Bravo one thing about Bravo is he's really good at saving penalties to be honest uh, I saw him in the Confederations Cup as well on penalties, so Man United beat Swansea, wasn't really expected any different, Bournemouth beat Middlesbrough and Leicester beat Leeds United, I think it was. Uh, and there's the big games, which is West Ham versus Spurs and Chelsea versus Everton. So 
apart from Bristol City, every team in the quarterfinals is a Premier League side, which means next time in November, if I want to get tickets, if it's at home at the very least, uh, it's going to be hard, I think, to get tickets. But I don't know. Let's talk about our performance. We didn't deserve to win. It was an absolute. It was terrible. It was really bad. It was boring. No, it wasn't. It, the only reason it wasn't boring is because it had, actually had tension. Unlike last time, it didn't have tension. You didn't think they were going to go in front, even though we, uh, Doncaster, even though we were only winning by one goal, you didn't think they'd go in front. But the tension with a team like this, who were properly attacking as well, not just sitting back and defending, it just gets boring anyway. If, if it wasn't for the tension, it would be. It would have been really boring. The same sideways, backwards, and it wasn't working. Both goals were from corners because they didn't seem to be able to cross, no one was tall enough, and every cross, cross, even if they were tall enough, just went way over, and the defending was not very good either, El Nenny I think had a, not a terrible game, but didn't have a very good game, he was constantly out of position all the time, um, and he let some goals slip, uh, not goals slip, he let, he let some of their players go past, but other than that, he did a few alright things, the senior players weren't very good, was Walcott, Walcott's our captain, was he born offside? I uh, know I just stole that from whatever Arsenal fans would be, but <laughs> yeah, it, it's true, was he born offside? How, how many times is he going to be offside? I don't think there's a game this season that he's played in where he hasn't been called offside like maybe three or four times at the very least. That's just, just ridiculous, and him alone, he's always offside. Now I didn't know, I don't even completely understand the offside rule. I do have a basic concept of it, but I, one thing I do understand definitely about it is that offside is bad. Do not be offside. And he's always offside. Reese Nelson had an alright game, but he got subbed off. And then our hero, Eddie, 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 came on. But yeah, he had a really good performance last night. I'd say even though he wasn't even on the entire game, he was the best, he was the best player. Definitely. How many runs he made. Agpom was alright. The youngsters just shoo up, uh, just what's the word for it, have shown up the uh, the senior players because Drew, Drew, I know he scored that goal la last week, but Drew has really underperformed recently. Um, I think he scored three goals this season. Uh, the goal against Leicester and uh, the penalty, yeah, because he still couldn't get to 100 and the 100th one was a penalty. And then that goal last week, three goals. And it was good Wenger hasn't put him, didn't put him on on Sunday because he just he just isn't performing at the moment really. It was a great goal. We see what we can do, he can do, but he's just not doing it at the moment. But we aren't playing to his uh, kind of strengths at the moment either. So next time when we will nearly certainly be facing the Premier League side, no matter what the results are tonight, yeah, I think that we need to have a squad with more experience. I think we could do with some experience like uh, Murtasaka, don't play fucking El Nenny out of position again, in fact I don't even put him on, he's fucking shit, uh, get Walcott off, play, instead of putting Walcott there, how about you put Reese Nelson further up the pitch, that might work, um, give Eddie a chance, but also you need to have some more senior players um, that are actually going to work, I think maybe even, even putting someone like Ozil or Alexis on. Or even Ramsey. Ramsey could even work well. Even Shaka. Yeah. Do we need more strength mainly in defence and midfield? But the thing is with the defence, there's nothing we can really do about that at the moment. But I don't know. We definitely need to sort um, sharpen up. And now uh, this is probably going on for five minutes. So I have to edit this for ages. Anyway, thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. It's a bit longer than I thought. But thanks very much for watching. Peace the hell out. I am not a whore. I am not a whore.